Hello and welcome to the Synopsys Optical Solutions Group training series. In this video, we will demonstrate the procedure for adding a ray data source to a SOLIDWORKS model. The SOLIDWORKS Link and Light tools allows users to assign a ray data source to their SOLIDWORKS model. When the model is linked to Light tools, the ray data source will automatically appear at the specified location. The ray data source definition is associated with a SOLIDWORKS coordinate system. This coordinate system can be placed and oriented as needed using the normal methods in SOLIDWORKS. For this example, we have a SOLIDWORKS assembly representing a simple trough with a number of identical LEDs placed down in the part. The LEDs are created as a separate SOLIDWORKS part and then added to the assembly. Here we see the LED part with a base, an LED lead, and a chip. A point, which will serve as the center location of the ray data source, has already been added to the center of the LED chip. We will now add a coordinate system to the part, centered on the point. The first step is to select the Features tab and click on the Reference Geometry Coordinate System button. We will then click on the point in the center of the chip to locate the coordinate system. The orientation of the coordinate system should match that of the ray data source. Here we wish the z-axis to point out of the chip. We want the x-axis to point along the short axis of the chip and the y-axis to point along the long axis of the chip. To do this, we highlight the x-axis box and then click on any of the feature lines that are parallel to the short axis of the chip. With the y-axis entry box selected, we then click on any feature line that is parallel to the long side of the chip. If the z-axis is pointing into the chip, we click on the reverse y-axis direction or reverse x-axis direction button until the displayed coordinate system matches that of the ray data source orientation. We then click on the green check mark to finalize the placement. Now we can associate the ray data source with the coordinate system. Select the Light Tools tab and click the Define Ray Data File Light Source button. If necessary, click on the newly added coordinate system. Then, click the Choose a Ray Data File button and select the desired ray data file. Once the file is selected, click Open and then click the green check mark to finalize the assignment. The ray data source should now appear in the tree underneath the coordinate system entry. Save the part. Return to the assembly and click Yes when asked if you want to rebuild the assembly. Then save the assembly. Because the same part was used multiple times in the assembly, the ray data source is associated with each of the instances of the LED in the trough. Now we go to Light Tools. In Light Tools, we have a model that includes optical properties that have identical names to the optical property identifiers already used in the SOLIDWORKS model, so we will not have to assign any optical properties. We also have already defined a far field receiver which has been hidden for clarity. To begin, we will link the trough assembly by selecting File, SOLIDWORKS Link, Link SOLIDWORKS Model. We then select the trough assembly and click Open. Once the part has been imported, we can hide the diffuser plate that is covering the LEDs. Zooming in to see the details, we can see that each LED has a ray data source already associated with it and it is in the proper place and orientation, so no further adjustment is necessary. Running a simulation, we can see that each LED produces rays as expected.
In this training video, we have demonstrated the procedure for adding a ray data source to a SOLIDWORKS model. If you have any questions or need technical support, please contact us at lighttools underscore support at synopsis.com. Thank you for watching.